Hey guys, Zachary with 3 Noobs here, bringing you guys another Call of Duty Ghost video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the quickest way to get the DevGuru Specialist Helmet, which as you can see at the bottom of my screen, um, you get it for the challenge Meticulous uh, Level 2. Uh, the first level requires you to get uh, do this 5 times, and then of course uh, 15 times for Level 2. It says kill 4 more enemies with a single clip 20 times. Now of course to be able to get this, and the easiest way to do it, and I'll also be showing you my class setup I use uh, specifically to do it, is you're going to want to have, of course, course the challenge unlocked which is pretty simple you just go to operations and you keep refreshing it with a squad token until you get it of course and it'll say something uh, instead of operation inactive it actually will show kill four more enemies with a single clip 20 times along with your progression saying blank out of 20 times now this helmet's really really nice it's one of the i call them like le it might sound stupid i call them one of the legendary starting with the dev Gru scout these are all the really cool ones in my opinion in the game um these five right here and and these are the five I really want to get for all my characters. But uh, there's a loadout I use that made it very easy in a specific game mode. Um, really, it can be any hardcore game mode. That's the easiest to do it in. I mean, you could do it on core. It's just you might run through your ammo a little bit faster, giving you a lower chance of actually getting the challenge done. But if you go to hardcore kill confirmed, it's a great way to do this. Um, don't specifically camp, but just hold out a location, a defensive location. And I'll show you the class setup I used in just a second back out here. And it was this honey badger setup, I believe. Yes, it is. And um, as you can see, I'm running a four grip. You don't actually need a four grip. You can take it off if you don't want to run the three attachments. Uh, Semi-automatic. This really helps you control your recoil in hardcore. It's either one or two shots to kill with the Honey Badger. Um, even at range. Two for range, of course. One up close in any other circumstance. And, of course, a sight. If you don't want to run a sight, though, that's all right. Um, it really doesn't matter. If you just want to run the semi-automatic, that's okay. Just It's your preference. I ran the foregrip in Red Dot. Just in case I had to spam the trigger a little bit, it'd be a little bit easier for the recoil um, with the foregrip. But, of course, that just means you won't actually need uh, the extra attachment. Now I have sit rep, of course, to uh, detect enemy explosives and explosives and tactical equipment. Now this might seem like an odd attachment. But it really helps because if you look around the map and you see where your enemies have put down equipment, it gives you an idea on where they are. So you know either to find a way to flank them in that location or just be wary when you head into that side of the map. It kind of helps you know where your enemies are hiding out. Scavenger, of course, to pick up ammo because as soon as you get the four kills in one clip, you can go ahead and reload and keep doing it over and over and over again in a single life. You don't have to go and die as soon as you get one of them done. You can just reload the gun and go for another four, then reload and so on. And then, of course, blind eye, you're indetectable by air support, oracle systems, and sentries. Now, and I love on the go. Um, on the go is just a great attachment, in my opinion, just because you're able to escape. If you know you're not you're not going to win a gunfight, you can escape and also put a new mag in if necessary, so you have a higher probability of coming out alive. Now, if you really don't want to run, um, if you really don't want to run. Uh, three attachments and you know you're not going to need it maybe run a couple speed things up here um, those will help or if you want to stay off the radar of course you can use some of the stealth ones as well so you stay silent like dead silence or incog which will probably be a pretty good one to use or even off the grid so you stay off the map of uh, satcom and radar pings which would probably be a very helpful one and it costs three as well so that would probably be the better choice other than three attachments um, but that's pretty much me um Pretty much do with what you will. Those are really the simple things you need. Of course, you can run a pistol as a secondary. I just have a rocket launcher in case there's like a SATCOM up in a second story building. I can just shoot the rocket in that general room and it'll probably destroy the SATCOM. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Zachary the Day Noobs. Peace out and have a great day.